Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Stay Neat. My name is Beth, and if I drop my arm, I look like I'm surrounded by singing angels with halos. Okay, I've moved over a little bit, so hopefully this is slightly better. The glare off my glasses is insane. Let's just, let's do it like this. All right, so basically I just want to talk to you for a minute about A Game of Thrones. This is book one in A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Now, originally I wasn't slated to finish this book until like September 20 something, uh, but I couldn't just hold back and read 100 pages a week. And since not a whole lot of people were really telling me they were partaking in the read along, I just kind of barreled ahead. So if you've been reading along with me and you are not finished, that's great. Go ahead and continue to read at your own pace and then come on and tell me later on Goodreads in the Goodreads group what you thought about each section. I kind of stopped uh, holding it up over the last couple of weeks and I need to go back on and fix that. But whatever, I finished the book. Now on Goodreads, if you go and check, I gave it a five out of five stars. That does not mean I think this book is perfect. Um, really, when I averaged it out, it was a 4.67, so I upped it to the five stars. There are a couple of things that I did not like about the book and a whole lot of things that I really enjoyed. So let's do a comparison. The things about this book that I did not enjoy were the rampant use of rape. And I understand that that was a part of that society. I understand that there were actually some societies that did things like this. I understand that rape is part of society and that when you put it in books, you can raise awareness. I also understand that most of these were not rapes that are going to raise awareness for anything. It was just part of their society and I didn't like how much it happened. However, I did appreciate that George R. R. Martin did not give us a whole lot of just really vivid imagery to go along with it. He stated that it was happening and there is some outrage over it, but then he kind of moves on and does not make us see everything that's happening. Now, there are a couple of places where we hear about it and it's very matter of fact, this is what's happening. This is what is supposed to happen. This is what they're doing to her kind of things. But for the most part, it is treated as respectfully as you can treat rape, I suppose. However, there were a couple of places where it uh, bothered me enough to put the book down for a little while. Uh, rape is one of a lot of people's triggers, and myself am included in that. But it never made me want to stop reading. I did, however, dislike that part. Another thing that I disliked was the way they treated children born out of wedlock. Even though Jon Snow was claimed by his father, his stepmother, Caitlin, would not accept him at all. And so he was not able to have the name of Stark. He is known as a bastard. And there are only so many things that he can actually have because of that, even though he lives in his father's house and was raised with his siblings as his father's son, he cannot take the name of Stark and Caitlin just treats him like trash. And I understand where she's coming from, but at some point you have to go, okay, it's not the kid's fault. You know, if you're married to his dad, you're his stepmom. I don't care. You know, I don't care. You need to take care of your kids and your kids include any kids your husband has. As long as it's like that. Now, all of the all of the illegitimate children from Robert just, I don't know what to do about them. But, you know, it, it just really irked me the way that they were treated. And, of course, there are the things that I liked in some places and didn't like in other places. Like... Some of the characters who I both loved and hated. And some of the ways things were handled. Uh, people like Cersei Lannister and the incest that is going on throughout the book. I'm not sure. I, I didn't enjoy it, but I did like the kind of intrigue and give and take that 
went along with it. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen, her brother, I not a big fan, but I really liked what he added to the story and how he pushed Daenerys. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the the call at first. And by the end of the book, the end murdered me. Um, so, yeah, this is one of those things where the author does such a good job that one second you're hating a character or a group of people or something that's happening. And then you're like, OK, I get it now. And you love them. And it goes back and forth. Um, some of the things I wound up really enjoying about the book that I didn't think I was going to were those um interconnected uh, characters and the way that they reacted to each other and learning about how different families were connected. I really, really liked that. And I'm really liking the uh, slow pouring of information about the others and things happening beyond the wall. That's really great as well. And then I also really liked the fact that we have different characters like this chapter is Sansa, and then you have another chapter, I'm About Blind. This one is Caitlin Stark. Um, then you've got Daenerys, Eddard, Jon Snow. So I really enjoyed having those different chapters, and I didn't think I I didn't think I was going to enjoy that, but I really liked the setup. On the whole, I'm really looking forward to starting book two. I have already ordered book three because I only had books one and two given to me. So I have already ordered book three, just long post from Amazon. I figure by the time I finish book two, book three will be in my hands. And that is good enough for me. I also purchased Game of Thrones season one on DVD. And I'm going to start watching that soon so that I kind of have the book fresh in my mind. And if I enjoy the television show, then I can pick up seasons two and so on and kind of read and watch together. Um, I hear the show is a bit more graphic than the books are, so that might be an issue, but I am going to give it a go. If you have watched the show, read the book, or just want to chat about it, come and hit me up in the comments, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.